Okay, design students. In this video, we're going to look at how to edit existing shapes that we've already made. Now, it's important to remember that uh, this next steps I'm going to show you can apply to any shapes that have been made, whether they're made with the built-in shape tools or whether they're made with the freehand tool. So for starters, the crux of this is so far we've been using this black arrow, the pointer tool, to move objects around. But beneath it, there are other ways to select. The white arrow, as I often call it, or the direct selection tool, as Illustrator calls it, is the sub-select tool in Gravit. And you can see the hotkey is D. The sub-select tool lets us select parts of objects. So looking at this, uh, shape I have here, I can grab an existing vertex and move it, changing the curve. And I can also individually grab the angle of this vertex to change how the curve is made. That is also true on simple stuff such as this uh, rectangle here. I can individually grab if I had it here, it doesn't want to let me because of how this one is made, so I need to convert it to a path, which I'm doing here by right-clicking and choosing Convert to Path. And that makes it like I had made it with the pen tool. This means I can now grab this corner and move it. In addition, I can change an existing vertex to a different type of joint. If you look here under appearance, you can see we have four different types of joint. So I can change it from straight to mirrored, which is that default Bezier, and it's, you see here the way it creates that curve, and now I can grab these control angles and move them. I can also choose disconnected, which will allow me to individually move the two parts of that curve. The last option is asymmetric, which allows it to still be connected, but I can pull them farther out or farther in to change how much curve is happening, but they still have the relationship where they're both changing. This can be done with any sort of vertex. I can take a curved one and change it back into a corner. Beneath the subselect tool is the lasso tool. The lasso tool can allow me to select a number of vertices at the same time. If I drag and select around, it will get me all three of these vertices. This can be useful because I can change their joints all together. For example, If I made a complicated shape with the pen tool like this and didn't want to go back and make these all curved, I could use the lasso tool to select all of these inside vertices. Notice how they highlight when I do it. And I could make them all be curved. You can also use the direct subselect tool to grab an existing segment, meaning the line, but not the vertex, and drag it and pull it. This can be useful to line up when you're tracing something. For example, I'm going to start a new design, and I'm going to add an image. I'm going to click Place Image. I'm going to grab this picture of a bird, which it's loading into my design. 
I'm going to click over here on the layers and lock the bird so that I can't move it or do anything to it anymore. Now if I choose the pen tool here with my fill and my border, I can try to trace along the bird. I am very quickly just clicking and making straight lines. I'm not making curved lines at all. Now, if I wanted to edit this shape, I could use the direct tool and I could grab these individual segments to turn them into curves and line them up with this existing shape. This would be easier if I turned my fill off here. So I'm going to make the fill have a 0% opacity and maybe increase my border a little bit so I can see the edge more. Now as I drag these edges, I can line it up with my bird's design. This can allow me to very quickly and easily get the shape I am looking for. In the next video, we're going to look at a few more tools that you can use to edit shapes.